Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to Keats Treats. It's been about a week since uh, last I read a book to you. Decided to take the week off, you know, got a few things done around the house. Kids and I went out for a bike ride or two while the weather was nice. Uh, we set up some hammocks in the park near us and got to relax a little bit in the hammock. My kids didn't do so much relaxing, more so swinging in the hammocks, but it was still a fun time. And then lots of cooking and tons and tons. I don't think I've ever done so many dishes in my life. It just keeps coming. But anyway, you're not here to hear about my dishes, but maybe you're here to hear a little story. So today's story is My Name is Yoon by Helen Rikorvitz. Pictures by Gabby Swiatkowska. So I hope you sit back and enjoy the story. My name is Yoon. I came here from Korea, a country far away. It was not long after we settled in that my father called me to his side. Soon you will go to your new school. You must learn to print your name in English, he said. Here, this is how it looks. I wrinkled my nose. I did not like Yoon. Lines, circles, each standing alone. My name looks happy in Korea, I said. The symbols dance together. And in Korean, my name means shining wisdom. I like the Korean way better. Well, you must learn to write this way. Remember, even when you write in English, it still means shining wisdom. I did not want to learn the new way. I wanted to go back home to Korea. I did not like America. Everything was different here. But my father handed me a pencil and his eyes said, do as I say. He showed me how to print every letter in the English alphabet. So I practiced, and my father was very pleased. Look, he called to my mother, see how well our little Yoon does? Yes, she said, she will be a wonderful student. I wrinkled my nose. My first day at school, I sat quietly at my desk while the teacher talked about cat. She wrote cat on the chalkboard. She read a story about cat. I did not know what her words meant, but I knew what the pictures said. She sang a song about cat. It was a pretty song and I tried to sing the words too. Later, she gave me a paper with my name on it. Name, Yoon, she said. And she pointed to the empty lines underneath. I did not want to write Yoon. I wrote cat instead. I wrote cat on every line. I wanted to be a cat. I wanted to hide in a corner. My mother would find me and cuddle up close to me. I would close my eyes and mew quietly. The teacher looked at my paper. She looked at her head, and she shook her head and frowned. So you are cat? She asked. The ponytail girl sitting behind me giggled. After school, I said to my father, we should go back to Korea, it is better there. Do not talk like that, he said. America is your home now. I sat by the window and watched the little robin hop hop in the yard. He is all alone, too, I thought. He has no friends. No one likes him. Then I had a very good idea. If I draw a picture for the teacher, then maybe she will like me. It was the best bird I had ever drawn. Look, father, I said proudly. Oh, this makes me happy, he said. Now do this. And he showed me how to print bird under the picture. The next day at school, the teacher handed me another Yoon paper to print. 
but I did not want to print Yoon. I wrote Bird instead. I wrote Bird on every line. I wanted to be a bird. I wanted to fly, fly back to Korea. I would fly to my nest and I would tuck my head under my little brown wing. The teacher looked at my paper. Again, she shook her head. So you are a bird? She asked. Then I showed her my special robin drawing. I patted my red dress and then I patted the red robin. I lowered my head and peeked up at her. The teacher smiled. How was school today, my daughter? My mother asked. I think the teacher likes me a little, I said. Well, that is good, my mother said. Yes, but at my school in Korea, I was my teacher's favorite. I had many friends. Here, I am all alone. You must be patient with everyone, including yourself, my mother said. You will be a fine student, and you will make many new friends here. The next day at recess, I stood near the fence by myself. I watched the ponytail girl sitting on the swing. She watched me. Suddenly, she jumped off the swing and ran over to me. She had a package in her hand. The wrapper said, cupcake. She opened it and gave me one. She giggled. I giggled, too. When we were back in school, the teacher gave us more printing papers. I did not want to write Yoon. I wrote Cupcake instead. I wanted to be a cupcake. The children would clap their hands when they saw me. They would be excited. Cupcake, they would say, here's Cupcake. The teacher looked at my paper, and today you are Cupcake, she said. She smiled a very big smile. Her eyes said, I like this girl, Yoon. After school, I told my mother about my ponytail friend. I sang a new song for my father. I sang in English. You make us so proud, little Yoon, my mother said. Maybe America will be a good home, I thought. Maybe different is good, too. The next day at school, I could hardly wait to print, and this time I wrote Yoon on every line. When my teacher looked at my paper, she gave me a big hug. Aha! You are Yoon, she said. Yes, I am Yoon. I write my name in English now. It still means shining wisdom. Thank you all for joining me. I hope you're having a good week. I hope you're happy for who you are, because that's important. Thank you all for joining me. I hope you all stay safe and be well. Until next story, take care.